My name is Stan Norman. I serve as president of Williams Baptist University, and I am bringing to the Williams Baptist University community an update on what is happening as we move forward in this semester. All of us are aware of the profound challenges posed to us by the pandemic known as COVID-19. It has gripped our world, it has gripped our nation, it has gripped our regional community, and it certainly has gripped our university. And the implications of this and the response of our medical community and government officials has required that we make adjustments here in the way that we're going to complete the semester. After much prayer and serious deliberations, we have concluded that we need to complete this semester through online instruction. And we're going to start doing that beginning April 1. In addition to these challenges and changes, we also need to continue to prepare for the future. I'm encouraging our current students that are not seniors to reach out to their faculty and our faculty will be reaching out to you to register for fall classes. If you've not done that yet, if you're a student here and you've not done that, we need you to do that. For our seniors, it grieves my heart to share with you that we are going to have to postpone commencement. This is not something that we would want to do and certainly not something we would have chosen to do. These circumstances are not what any of us would have envisioned or would have liked. With the announcement of postponement, however, we are making a commitment that at some time in the near future, we're going to come up with a plan to provide a meaningful celebration for you seniors. This is a milestone in your life, and we want to give you and your families a chance to celebrate with us this wonderful accomplishment that you have achieved in your educational pursuits. If you are a student that lives on campus, then around March the 25th, our Dean of Students, Amber Grady, will be sending out instructions for how you can get all that is left in your dorms and move out of the residence halls here on our campus. In these challenging, trying times, communication is so crucial for us with you and you with us. I would ask you to check regularly our website and get latest updates and information on our COVID-19 link. Uh, there you will find information to keep you up to date as to what we're doing, when we're doing it, and how we're going to do it. These are challenging and trying times and each day seems to bring a new set of challenges and issues that we have to address. In this kind of environment where we don't know what tomorrow holds, we feel unsettled, the future seems uncertain, and we feel greatly stressed about how are things going to happen? Where are we going to go? How is all this going to end? I don't know the future, no one does, but we can find great comfort and instruction in our faith. In the book of Hebrews, chapter 12, verse 2, the author of Hebrews encourages us to fix our eyes on Jesus, the author and perfecter of our faith. And so for us who are followers of Christ, the challenge is not to try to know the future. The challenge is to keep our eyes fixed on the Lord. He knows the future. He holds it in His hands. He's got this. We're going to come out of this situation better and stronger. There may be some dark days ahead, we don't know. There may be some greater trials ahead, certainly seems likely. But our hope is in fixing our eyes upon the Lord Jesus Christ. And in so doing, by fixing our eyes on Him, we trust our future with Him and He will get us through this. And so to the Williams Baptist University community, to our students, to our faculty, to our staff, to friends of the school, and to anyone else who may be seeing this video, I want to encourage you that the Lord Jesus is still sovereign over His creation. He is still the Lord, and we rest in His Lordship and find comfort in that. We're going to come out of this. We're going to be fine. Jesus will get us through this. So when you feel overwhelmed and stressed, remember what the author of Hebrews says, fix your eyes on Jesus. You may not know where you're going, you may not know the future, we don't, but He does, and He will get us through this.